When I was here the last time, this wasn't here. This was all an open green kind of jungle area. So here we are. Good afternoon. We're on our way to Raleigh and Raleigh is one of the most popular beaches actually in the world. The ticket to Raleigh with the long tail boat is 100 baht per person and we just have to wait for the boat to fill up so we need another six people to join us. So instead of waiting for six more people to show up and we've been sitting here for like half an hour I just decided to pay the full fare and that's 800 baht for the boat. We are going with number N34. And today our driver is Kumpek. Sawari kap Kumpek! So, uh, yeah, it should be only 10 minutes to get there. Raleigh Beach is on the mainland. It's separated by these rocks, and the only way you can get there is either by boat or you can uh, climb these mountains. And uh, that is not good for me <laughs> with my knee. I will never ever go and climb those mountains. So it's a, an easy 10 minute ride with a long tail boat. We're having an awesome day today. We've been very, very lucky with the weather. The weather predictions were that it's gonna be cloudy, but uh, it's all good. Let's go. Let's see if there's a space for us to land here. Many boats are waiting. So there are a lot of people that do a day trip like we do. Just come from Aung here, stay half a day. We made it to Raleigh and uh, let's go and explore. I'm gonna do a full walkthrough, basically like a live stream and I'm gonna show you how this part of Krabi looks and yeah the most impressive thing about this area of course are these limestone rocks that you see everywhere this is also why Raleigh is a famous place for rock climbing and especially Tonsai so if you are into rock climbing then uh, come and have a look here it's been a couple of years since we've been here last I think uh, the last time was five years ago and in total we might have been here three or four times. A lot of the people on this part of the beach are day trippers, same as us. This is just a stunning view. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk now to East Raleigh, which is on the other side, I would almost say of this uh, peninsula. And then you walk through the village I'm just trying to see if it's any different from uh, the last time that we were here and it changed a little bit. It seems to be busier and it's never bad to be busy. So in this part you have all the shops, the little cafes. And during the pandemic, this part of Thailand was hit pretty hard. There were no tourists here. And uh, it's nice to see that everything bounced back now.
สวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับ You have the quiet part that's more like a mangrove kind of area, so there's not a nice beach there for swimming. Yeah, and as you can see, the atmosphere here is a bit more mellow than when you compare it with our nine. This is a bit, bit more like the beach vibe. Amsterdam. <laughs> they do my country proud. Hello. Tomorrow. So this is all new, I mean definitely when I was here the first time or when I was here the last time this wasn't here, this was all an open green kind of jungle area. So there is a lot more development now. Yeah, I will not talk too much. I think it's nice for the people to see how the atmosphere is and to listen to it. Of course, since the legalization of marijuana, a lot has changed here as well. And I remember you could always get it here without any problems. Yeah, I'm quite impressed on how it changed actually. You know, when I'm on the islands, you can always hear my flip, flop. So we're almost on the other side of the peninsula. Yeah, so somehow I keep wanting to say that I'm gonna walk until the other side of the island, but it's not an island, but because you have to come here by boat, it gives you that feeling. But we are on a peninsula. This is still the mainland of Krabi. Hello, I am Rock You. Hello. Yeah. Rock You, yeah. Rock You, very yeah, good. Why, you do climbing? Yeah. Okay, yeah, very good. To, uh, okay. To, uh, private guy, when I come back, you give me your card, I will put it. Yeah, yeah? man. Okay, see Thank you. Bye-bye. It's always good for somebody to make a bit of promotion, right? So what I mentioned on this side, it's more like a mangrove area. And this is also where the ferry arrives. If you come with a ferry from Relay, there is a direct connection to Kopi P. Then uh, you come here. Here to the left, there are some cool bars. But we are turning right because we are going to the Pra Nang Cave Beach and that is actually the beach that got voted most 
beautiful beach in the world or one of the top beautiful beaches in the world several times a lot of construction going on here I can't remember the sand being here already so I guess this is a reconstruction they are renovating the premises and obviously it's low season now so this is the perfect time to do that also here I can see that a lot has changed So this is basically the port where you can arrive if you come from Krabi town. Okay, but I'm not here for the port, I'm here for the Pranang cave. Sorry. Yeah, so this part, as I mentioned, doesn't really have a beach. The beaches are on the other side. So you just keep following this path along the coast here. And then at the end, you will find this entrance here. And there you go, between the rocks. Yeah, and if you come to Relay Beach and you do not explore this part, then you're really missing out on something. There's a very nice cave up there that you can climb to. There is a rope and uh, with my knees, I'm not even gonna try it. There are monkeys in this area as well. And she got it. <laughs> Pranang Beach and Pranang Cave. It's not appreciated if you write on the walls here. But as you can see, beautiful caves. Stunning area.
So here you have the path that leads up to the viewpoint. Not today. It's actually relatively fresh in here, there was no sun coming through. But I'm still sweating. So we're almost at the beach. There's a very nice resort here. So here we are. It's busy. This is also a part of many day trips. So a lot of, uh, I think if you do the four island tour, which are these islands over there, then you come to this beach as well. So that's the cave that it got the name from. I'll go and check that out as well. It's high tide now. Normally the beach is a bit longer. But let's go and check out the cave. And look at this. So they have a lot of statues here in the cave. If you come here, you have to go and check it out. There's only one resort on the beach here. And it's directly the most luxury resort on this part of Raleigh. So I hope you enjoyed this update regarding Raleigh Beach and this walkthrough how to get here to the Pranang Cave. If you enjoyed it, feel free to subscribe, drop me a line. I see you guys in my next uh, video. Uh...